Hey everyone, this example here is a way of see, having you see computational vari variance calculated in through all of its steps. In this example, I'll also just review the concept of variance quickly and the theoretical formula as well. So, <laughs> notice I have a typo right away, but the purpose of variance is to measure how scores vary about the mean. So knowing that the mean, in this case represented by the fulcrum point on my seesaw, the mean here is the central tendency. The variance is a measure of how far each of the different, on average, each of the different x values are from the mean. But the variance is going to be measured in the squared unit of the variable. So that's going to be a little bit less useful for the practitioner, but it becomes extremely useful for the statistician. So what we'll do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to look at an example of how we can calculate variance example for I started with the theoretical formula I have as you can see here 10 X values and what I did was I was taking a fake data I made a fake data looking at how many basketball free throws somebody scored out of a hundred so I had a person score 78 66 34 51 48 and so on and I only did a sample size of 10 because much longer and it would be hard for me to do all the formulas on my iPad. Following in, using this theoretical formula, it's the sum of x minus the mean, so the first step we have to do is the parentheses x minus the mean. So I calculated each of the scores and subtracted them from the mean of 53. And then you square each of those scores to get rid of the negative sign, so I then squared 25 squared, um, 13 squared, negative 19 squared, negative 2 squared, and I got that. I then summed them up, and that gives me a sum of 200, or 2,396. I divided by m minus 1. I got a variance, so what you're seeing right here, where's my little arrow? Insert an arrow. What you're seeing right there is my variance, 266.22. So that's what I'm going to be looking to match when I try to um, calculate variance with my computational formula. And then by taking the square root of 266.22, I get the standard deviation of 16.31. So that's doing the theoretical formula in Excel, but what happens when you have to calculate variance by hand? Alright, so here's our theoretical variance formula. It is the sum of x squared. That's going to this first one is going to require that I do a whole bunch of different calculations. I'm going to have to do 12 calculations to get to there. Or to this one is the or this is the sum of all or once you sum the x values and then square that total value. So that's only going to take me two calculations to get this number. And then n in this case will be 10. So we're going to take the formula, shrink it down for now, and move it up to the top, get it out of the way so that I can do some math to start me up. First thing I'm going to do is the sum of all my x squareds. So first I have to write out is I have my first x is 78. When I square that, I get 608. Four. The next number I get is 68. When I square that number, I get 4, 3, 5, 6. Then I go to 34. I've lost my pen. 34 squared gives me 1, 1, 5, 6. 51 squared gives me 2, 6, 0, 1. 48 squared gives me 2032304 44 squared gives me 1936 32 squared equals 1024 54 squared equals 2916 
78 squared, which we did at the first one, is still 6084. And finally, 45 squared is 2025. So when I look at the sum of all these x squared values, this is the sum of x squared. I've summed up all of this value. I'm going to get 3, 0, 4, 8, 6. And that's going to be the first number I come over and enter into my theoretic or computational formula. It is 3, 0, 4, 8, 6. I already know that the bottom is going to be 10 minus 1. Now I still have to figure out the sum of x, the sum of x first, and then square that value. Well, the sum of x, if you add up all of my different x values that you see over here, so 78, 68, 34, if you just go through and do a very simple sum, the number that you're going to get is 530. When you take the square of 530, the number you get is, is 2, oh, hold on, I lost my pen, 2, 8, 0, 9, 0, 0. So now I have all the last components I need to go into my formula, I'm going to subtract 280990 all over 10. Then when I go through and plug this in my calculator, I'm going to start by doing the numerator. I'll divide 280990 by 10 and then subtract that from 30486. That will get me 23 9, 6, all divided by 9, because 10 minus 1 is 9. That results in 266.22. 6, 6 and if you go back to look at that theoretical formula, this will match the calculation of variance that we calculated with our theoretical formula on the previous slide. Now, if I wanted to find standard deviation, all I would have to do is take the square root of 266.22 and I would get 16.31 and I have extended the computational formula to a variance to help me get standard deviation. So this should have helped you under better understand how to calculate computational uh, variance and it should match up all of your other scores on SPSS and Excel.